Hi, thanks for joining us again. In this video, we're going to continue taking a look at the new improvements and revamp we have undertaken within Vertex BD for version 29. In this video, we're going to look at our shared model system. Within version 29 of Vertex, you can now share projects much easier. This makes design work quicker and a more seamless process. Firstly, we'll showcase sharing this project for a wall panelization purpose. As you can see, by right clicking on the project within the project document browser, we select the share master model option. Once we have done that, if we then go to the model tree, you can see the shared models we've created. Here is where all our shared models will be located. Let's make a second shared model, this time for floor panel designing. Now we have separate shared models, one for wall designing purposes and one for floor designing purposes. Let's open up our wall panel project and navigate to the ground floor. Here we will check the design settings where we will change our wall panel settings as required. In this case, we will change the maximum length of the panels. Now let's have a look at the model. Let's hide the roof and we can then select our walls. Now, with those selected, let's frame our walls without the siding layer. Once that is completed and we have generated our parts, we then have our completed panels in our shared framing model. We can then close our shared model. And now when we go back to the main project, we can see that within the framing model, the panels have been updated. Now let's do the same to our shared model for floor panel designing. We first activate the model pair and we then create our panel breaks and generate our panels for our floors. We also repeat these for our other floors within our project. Now with that complete, you can see we have our floor panels completed and ready here within our shared model. Now we save our changes and head back into our main project. As you can see, all our panels and parts we created are successfully implemented as per our shared model changes. You can also see our smart models, which were framed as they're required and include the necessary joints and backers. After this, you can now go on to creating your panel drawings from your main model. It is also possible to create these within the shared models if required. However, numbering is main project specific. Let's make some changes to our main model. We will add a few windows to our first floor. First, we add the windows and we then select the option to check for updates. Within here, we update our wall panel model. Once that is completed, we open the shared model and we from here right click the main project and update our master model. This will then send our updates to the master model to complete our window changes. However, we will need to then undertake updating within the main model itself. From here, we update our panels and generate parts again. And as you can see, those changes have been successful. Thanks for watching this video. Stay tuned for our next one.